Hi, it's Crash from Float Lab. I'm uh, here in Westwood. I'm going to run you through the uh, cleaning process that we use here. It's become more uh, relevant here with the, the COVID uh, situation. Uh, it, it's actually uh, it's been an eye opener for everybody else that's been uh, thinking previously about going into these chambers without the consideration of the disinfection process. So I'd like to like illuminate uh, how we do this here, and so you more comfortable. I know if you're in a situation like this now, you want to make sure that you're comfortable with the, what's occurred between uh, the last person in there and then you, not just, uh, we didn't stir it. What we did is we ran, ran into a disinfection system, and I'm going to outline that now here for everybody to get a, make sure they understand that we're actually doing our job here. With a very, very high quality pump, this is your first filter here, which is at uh, 20 microns, 20 micron filter. Then it goes through the 20 micron, comes into this as a five micron filter. So it goes to the five micron filter, out of the five, and then over here into a one micron filter. Comes out of the one micron filter, down here, comes around and goes into the UV light here. This comes out of the UV light here, goes through the glass catcher, and then into the ozone injection system here, which is what this is all about. This is a, a the ozone here is coming from there. Here's your, uh, here's your uh, UV ballast. Here's your ozone generator. This is your oxygen concentrator. We use the oxygen concentrator to increase the value of the ozone here, because we're using a lot of ozone. And we've always been, people have always been a little bit afraid of that, going, oh man, we're a little scared about ozone. We, we read something online and said that it'll kill you and stuff. So. But that's not the case. We've done a lot of work with ozone over the years for a lot of, in a lot of different uh, settings. And it's, it's a tremendous disinfectant. It really does the job uh, where nothing else does. Leaves no byproduct, uh, no residual. It's got a short half-life. It's super effective. Between that and the, and the UV light it, it, and, the, and this filtration processing and then the speed of the pump, we're running through here at about 90 gallons a minute. So there's like about 250 gallons in one of these things. So it's going through there pretty fast. We run it for 10 minutes. Then, uh, then it requires an additional 10 minutes for off-gassing due to the amount of ozone that's in the environment, which we have in there purposefully because the O1, which is what, ozone is O3. It's three oxygen molecules bonded together. So it's unstable because there's not a, one for the, the third man out, you know, so it, 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 it breaks apart and then looks for something to go after. And so inside of here now, instead of running it the other direction, it, it has a, a cleaning uh, potential there. It goes in there and it, it really does a number inside the chamber. In fact, is that's why we have an additional timing mechanism incorporated to allow the off-gassing to occur before a person is even exposing themselves to it while doing the work here. Uh, so that's the, the that's the triple threat there. We're doing the we're doing the uh, super filtration, three cartridges, and then uh, and these are not these little bag filters that these pods have and whatnot. Just like this thing about the droplets on the pod lid. Well, we're not worried about droplets on the pod lid. That's what our friends at the CDC came up with. They're well aware of our product though and how efficient it is and how it works within these conditions. Due to all of our laboratory testing, we spent almost three years in a laboratory. Uh, verifying all of the, uh, the potential of the system here in very extreme harsh conditions. This thing has been proven to be able to eradicate any and all materials, that's parasites, microorganisms, viruses, whatever you want to say. The, 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 this is an Annex H uh, certified UV light. That'll, that, that's certified for three block kill in itself. And the reason, uh, like I say, so much ozone. So between these two systems, it is, uh, it's brilliant. Then you go back into the air thought, thought about the air, okay. So we have that O1 now that's, that, that's uh, permeating the environment there to, to sterilize the interior. Now you think, oh well, wow, man, I'm going there and breathe. So we have here a uh, air disinfection system and that then produces uh, 10 uh, circulations an hour on a six foot tank. It comes in, goes through filtration, and then goes in there, and then and then comes out there. The the uh, the size of that system is down to 0 0.003 microns. Uh, so it's and it's a nine-stage air disinfection system. 
So when you're breathing in air, you're breathing a very pure, disinfected air uh, quality instead of this uh, option that uh, elsewhere might have for you to be uh, enduring. Uh, let's see. Electrical safety is paramount. It, it, it's important that you have proper electrical safety in these things. This is a this is electricity, uh, water, and a human being. So to 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 not put plenty of attention on that is not uh, a good idea. So we have we've actually got not only our NSF 50 certification uh, for. for we also have the UL 1795 listing uh, for electrical safety. So we have both disinfection efficacy and electrical safety addressed very efficiently here. In fact, it is the, the, the disinfection efficacy, there's a life test that's involved in that stuff, which has to do with 3,000 hours, which is like eight years or something of constant use here of the system. We went through that, which in order to get your certifications, you need to pass through a life test. So in the beginning, I think we did a six log uh, 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 testing on the cleaning process, six, maybe it was five, five or six, I think it was five, maybe, five or six, probably five, because I'll just say that I'm positive and that way I'm not exaggerating, but uh, which equals uh, 99.999 of all the uh, materials that were uh, in in injected into the system were eradicated in the cleaning cycle. And that was in seven and a half minutes too, which is, we go, 10 minutes, so it's additional 25% more uh, uh, potential to the cleaning process. Uh, so, not only does your system have to produce a three log kill at the end of the life test, each component has to, your primary and secondary, because we're the only uh, recreational water device certified in the world that doesn't have to use uh, what they call uh, halogens, such as chlorine or bromine, and then they have peroxide, they put in the pH uh, up, pH down, acids, flocculators, uh, anti-sudsing agents, so many different uh, things they put in spas and all this spa clear and all, all there's a lot of, you know, they put in uh, enzymes and a lot of different other uh, materials that they stick in these things elsewhere that are not actually certified for this purpose. The EPA has not certified any of those components for this type of stuff, those ingredients, uh, to be used in the cleaning process here. So even though you can use chlorine or bromine in a swimming pool or a hot tub, that doesn't mean you can use it in here, nor has it been tested for that. So at the end of this 3,000 hour uh, uh, simulation of a life test, you still have to be able to produce a three log kill per system. That's a primary and a secondary. We're using ozone and UV, no chemicals, no feeders, none of that. We're not doing it, you know, because we didn't have to. Our cert certification was done without it. So that's why we don't have to expose people in these things to a bunch of harsh chemicals to try to mask the, uh, the appearance of what this stuff is based on a lack of ability in the equipment. See, this equipment is not cheap. That's the deal. We use expensive equipment. Our gear is the best it can possibly be, and it's the product of years of work, and uh, it, it certainly needs to be this way. It's not, it's not uh, ethical to say, oh, don't worry about it, you know, because you're looking out for your, your people that come to see you, that rely on your, you know, your, your word, sort of, to, to represent your product. And that's why we can stand by ours here and, uh, and say, as a matter of fact, you'll be, uh, you know, safe in our environments. There's the bonding thing I was talking about. So everything is bonded here. You got to, you got to bond on the inside, the outside, in the water, on the, on everything is bonded individually. So it's, it's safe. And that's been the, the objective here at Float Lab since the beginning when we started building these things and there was, oh, you're overdoing it or you're overdone or whatever, too much or it's, you know, that was not the, 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 the idea was that in the 80s, there was an issue with the AIDS. The AIDS broke out, and when that did, the, the flotation or uh, deprivation chamber uh, business or whatever w w fell down, that was it. They had a little run of uh, good luck, and then after this outbreak, if that is indeed the correct reason, it, it, uh, it, it, it diminished and then uh, went away. So at the point where I became aware of this stuff, which was much, much later, it was like, like late 90s, where it came to me what I was supposed to be doing here, th this was like a, a past 
scenario, but I did take it into consideration when we're building these things. I said, you know what, we got to make sure that I don't want to catch AIDS from one of these things, personally, because I use these, you know what I mean? So I, I don't want a compromised version of what, oh, you could just run it through a filter and uh, whatever, like they used to do it like that. You know, it was no real big, uh, you know, method to uh, disinfect the solution. So there are people going in there, and I'm thinking, you know what, the first time through, this, this situation uh, destroyed itself because of the lack of attention to this disinfection process. So why would you think that it was gonna go down any different this time? But, so here it is, here we are now, and we're in just the situation that we were prepared to deal with. This thing is much more robust than, uh, than the SARS virus. This thing is done, this is for cryptosporidium. We have cryptosporidium, which is a, is a parasite, and that thing would take like 10 hours in chlorine, I think, to deactivate. It's very resilient, very tough. We do it. In, 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 in three passes, it's confirmed to be done, and we actually do it in one pass, but can't really say that, but uh, we, can, we know that that's the way it is based on test laboratory results. So it's, it's super, uh, super safe, super uh, clean, and uh, you know, that's, that's been our main concern all these years, so it's nothing new for us. It's another day at the park, so we'll be glad to see people coming back in again and enjoying their uh, their time while they're here, and uh, you know, uh, like I say, it's, it's time to come back out though and feel comfortable about uh, re-entering into a, a situation that, that's going to be beneficial. You know, it's a good time for this right now. It's, it's, it, it always has been, but I think now especially there's uh, conditions that exist in the world that this 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 thing kind of could help you put into uh, you know a proper. Uh, perspective, you know. So that's about it for this area. I think we're going to walk through and show you the lobby, show you the front of one of these rooms, and show you how we're keeping our, uh, you know, like I say, we're, our, we've been specializing in social distance now since 1999. <laughs> so this is not a big, uh, a big stretch for us. But we'll go through the lobby, and we've now spaced it out a bit, took out some couches, put some chairs in, and give people the adequate spacing so they don't feel like they're getting near anybody. So we took care of that, and then, uh, I think uh, we're all good with every, you know, we're good to get back at this. So, you know, thank you for taking the time to watch this. 